Assalamu alaikum fam. Hope you're doing well. So here in this uh, big book, there's a really cool part about the roles of men and women. And it says, Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, reported that the messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, The best roles for men are the front ones and the worst are the last ones. The best rows for the women are the last ones, and the worst are the first ones. So men in the front, women in the back. Now, I know a lot of woke feminists will be like, oh my gosh. But I started thinking about something. If the men are in the front and they're facing the front, they're less distracted by the women, and their faces cannot distract the women, right? How handsome they are. And women, when you're standing in the front, you know that people are staring at your butt literally the entire time, right? Judging you, looking at you, and it can make you stand a little weird. Now, I know there's a lot of women who like parading themselves and, you know, they like to be fat material and they are addicted to the male gaze and they can never not think of a time where they shouldn't be stared at. But here, it's like if you're trying to be in a, a holy situation to disconnect from the world, to control your urges, to take your mind into a better realm, this would be a very good system. Now, I'm a person who always likes to be in the front row, but I think if you're with all women, you can be in the front row, because you're all women, right? But if we were with men, I definitely now wouldn't want to be in the first row. Because it's like, if you had to have women in the front, it, it would definitely have a different vibe to it. You could feel the male gaze, like, piercing on the back of your neck. And you just would maybe be uncomfortable and it would be harder to focus. And for the men, they would be staring at, you know, butts. And it would be so hard for them to be, like, you know, focusing on their breathing and what the mom is doing. So I know... The, the woke will be like, oh, well, that's so horrible, you know, it should just be mixed side by side. But when I went to Catholic and uh, Jehovah's Witness places and Mormon places, there was this issue of, like, families would cluster together. And in the Catholic uh, booths, right, with the handsome men, it can get kind of distracting because... They're standing there and not everybody dresses appropriately for mass when I went there. And you can definitely just keep eyeballing somebody instead of listening to the priest talk. And I've noticed this kind of pattern. So if you're really trying to focus on spirituality, on disconnected from the hedonistic world, separating the men and women has a very good form of doing it. I mean, it, it does make sense. I know this is hard for many people to understand, but for me, this particular hadith uh, reported by Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, highlights how you're supposed to focus and break off from the hedonistic world. So I found this one to be highly beneficial for how you should order it. And also reminds us to make sure that each masjid and mosque is keeping these rules because i have seen some videos where uh, new places are allowing men and women to be side by side in the same area and saying that's progress don't really see how that's progress seems like you're kind of wanting people to engage in nonsense right i mean it just seems kind of odd what's next you're not going to enforce the dress code right so again this is a very cool a point. Let me know what you think.